day. It's a food day. It's the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Day. It's the day. We don't look back at the history. The history is bad. We like the traditions we have now, not the history it has. Well, we teach about Canada because Canada celebrates Thanksgiving. So I'm going to tell you guys all about that. Actually, check this out. I got a PowerPoint. It's actually a Google slide, but what are, what are we going to stop calling all slide presentations PowerPoints? Maybe I'm the only person still doing it. But you see this? This? It's a pumpkin. It's our channel's first pumpkin. And we're going to carve it because it's Thanksgiving. And what do you do on Thanksgiving? You carve pumpkins. A uh, duh, while we teach about Canada. So, I'm gonna get started on this while I also tell you about Canada. Let's do this, let's have a good Thanksgiving time. It's gonna be a good Thanksgiving time. I'm so excited. Let's go. Thanksgiving a la Canada, AKA the superior country that celebrates Thanksgiving. And this throws no shade to any country other than the United States that celebrates Thanksgiving. Let's learn about Canada. Unlike the United States Thanksgiving, which takes place on, I think, the third or fourth Thursday in November, Canada's Thanksgiving takes place on the second Monday in October, and it has annually since November 6th, 1789, which is very centrally palindrome-like of the United States first of the 1789. You see those little numbers switched? Um, well, I did. Anyway, I thought it was cool. And yeah, they didn't start in November, but that's not important because Canada can do what it wants because they're nice and we love them and they are very supportive and happy and good. Anyway, it's actually an optional holiday for the east side of Canada, including Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. I am so sorry if any pronunciation is wrong. I found it really interesting that they're all optional, but hey, to each their own. You don't have to celebrate Thanksgiving if you don't want. Now for the history, which we love. Ready? Stolen straight from Wikipedia. According to some historians, the first celebration of Thanksgiving in North America occurred during the 1578 voyage of Martin Frobisher from England in search of the Northwest Passage. His third voyage to the Frobisher Bay area of Baffin Island in the present Canadian territory of Nunavut set out with the intention of starting a small settlement. His fleet of 15 ships was outfitted with men, materials, and provisions. However, the loss of one of his ships through contact with ice, along with many of the building materials, was to prevent him from doing so. The expedition was plagued by ice and freak storms, which at times scattered the fleet. On meeting again at their anchorage in Frobisher Bay, Maester Wolfall, a learned man, appointed by Her Majesty's Council to be their minister and preacher, made unto them a godly sermon, exhorting them especially to be thankful to God for their strange and miraculous deliverance in those da so dangerous places. They celebrated Holy Communion, and the celebration of divine mystery was the first sign, scale, and confirmation of Christ's name, death, and passion ever known in these quarters. Years later, French settlers, having crossed the ocean and arrived in Canada with explorer Samuel the Chaplain from 1604, also held feasts of thanks. They formed the Order of Good Cheer and held feasts with their First Nations neighbors at which food was shared. The Order of Good Cheer. The, oh no. The Order of Good Cheer. Basically, Martin Frobisher went out and he's like, hey, bros, let's make a settlement without women or ice because I'm scared of them. And they were like... Yeah, okay, sure, let's do that. That sounds cool. You know, making a settlement. And then, much later, like 26 years, I did the math. Some more people did it. And they're like, hey, you want to do what those other guys did? But, you know, maybe include some women and then eat lots of food? And, the, and his friends were like, yeah, sure, yeah. And then the order of good cheer happened where they shared their food and had a cheer. And clearly they had little sing songs and food and wore poofy pants for funsies because why not? And they had little ghosts left over from Halloween. Check that out. However, there were some colonizers that weren't too happy with America's change. And they're like, hey, we want to be like Britain. So they went over to Canada. They're all like, yo, boy, my dog, I love you. America's being a big dum-dum. Can we come with y'all? We'll bring turkey and stuff. And Canada's like, yeah, man, that's cool. Well, that's going to be our tradition now. We're going to steal it. I'm like, okay, cool. We love you. Best friends. Yay. So now on to current traditions and food. Much like America, they got roasted turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes with gravy, sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, sweet corn, various autumn vegetables, pumpkin pie, baked ham, apple pie, and various regional dishes and desserts, which include Canadian favorites of salmon, wild game, jigs dinner with split pea pudding, I didn't look up what that was, I'm sorry, butter tarts, and Nanaimo bars, which is pictured right there. They're like coconut and custard and chocolate and 
I want them so bad and you think I'm not going to make them and show you how? Thought wrong. Now, America is like, hey, we got a parade. We got a football game on the same day. And Canada's like, hey, you know what? We got the Thanksgiving Day Classic too. Because Canada has football and Canadian football is American football. I thought they might, you know, call soccer football like the rest of the world, but they can do what they want because they're Canada. They also have the Markham Fair. We don't have a fair that I know of. Markham Fair is agricultural and harvest fest the week before Thanksgiving, which just sounds cute and fun. It happens in Markham, I suppose. And they may not have the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, but they have the Kitchener Waterloo Oktoberfest Thanksgiving Day Parade, which has the word Oktoberfest, which makes it more fun. But I'm gonna have to say, Canada, I think our parade wins. I haven't seen yours, but I just, I just, I, you, you just, oh, <laughs> it's just so good. I love men the motor, but it, it, it. Back to you, Nicole. How are you doing? Okay. I would like to present my masterpiece. I have not carved a pumpkin in several years, and I don't know why I thought, hey, why don't we do the whole shave out when I have no tools other than these. It's like, this is no Edward pumpkin hands, no, but I love you, Canada. I'm so sorry my pumpkin is hideous. And when in doubt, fill it out with pen. Oh, and you think, you think, you think I'm gonna not uh, make those nanaymo, nameno, name nanaymo, I'm making those bars. Mm hmm And I will see you. I'm gonna make them with you. You're gonna make, it's, it's super quick, super easy. Okay, recipe time, recipe time. All right, so you're gonna start by melting half a cup of unsalted butter. Then once that's good and beautiful, add a quarter cup of granulated sugar and five tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder along with a tiny pinch of salt. Then you add the egg very slowly and it gets all chunky. Put it back on the heat. Make sure it's smooth again. Finally, you're going to add one and three quarters cup graham cracker. I did a little less because I forgot to buy a graham cracker. One cup of shredded coconut and half a cup of finely chopped almonds. Mix that all up and be very careful because you accidentally chose a way too tiny pot. Flatten it out, put it in the fridge. Now we're on to the next thing. You're going to have either two tablespoons of custard powder or I used instant pudding because that's what I had. Mix that with two to three tablespoons of heavy cream. Add in another half cup of unsalted butter that was softened, one and three quarters cups of powdered sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Whip that up until it's nice and whipped and beautiful and good and whip. Plop that onto layer one, spread it out till it's all smooth and put it in the freezer to chill while we work on layer three, the ganache. So for this, you're just gonna need four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. No, my butter. Yeah, so add two tablespoons of butter and don't do what I'm doing because I can't film with one hand. But anyway, it's, it's fine, we're clean here, and everything's just good, everything, anyway, it's all, it's all smooth now. So, uh, pull that thing out of the freezer, smooth out that ganache right on top, and I would just like to point out that I am filming this with my camera, like, under my chin, okay? I worked with what I had. And you just leave those to chill, pull them out, cut them into little bars, and then good to go, yay! Alright, I hope I brought y'all some good cheer by having this Canadian Thanksgiving little intro celebration fun time. This is great. I gotta clean up, but have a really good Thanksgiving. Uh, and if you don't celebrate, have a really good day. I really hope that you guys are, you know, happy out there, having a good time, just living your best lives. And as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Say that.